Okay, this you need tutorial is going to be about assets and textures and where to get them and details about them, crunch compression about textures and things like that. Um, let's uh, first start out with uh, some of the basics on some sites where to get some things. Um, if you're going to be doing like a skybox in your world, um, which is uh, where you get the nice sky looking thing, um, one of the best sites I found for getting what's called HDRIs um, is HDRI Haven. Um, there's a lot of free ones on here, all sorts of different ones you can search for things. Uh, you get them all sorts of quality. Um, usually I do 4K, unless I'm really trying to do crazy, 8K. You can get all sorts of type of different ones depending on what world you're looking to build. Um, another place for textures um, is uh, SketchUp Textures. Uh, you do gotta sign up for an account, it's a free account, but it allows you to browse and search all these different assets and textures and it's just amazing how many different ones. They got some really beautiful ones on here. Um, really helpful. And it's all categorized and perfectly. It's amazing. Um, now the next question here is how do you make the textures look more real in Unity? Well, it's a normal map. Um, this website here, and I'll put all these links in the description, um, this website here is great for making normal maps and any texture file to make your grass look real, make your rocks look real, make your bricks or whatever you're trying to use in unity texture wise to make it look more real and make it pop um normal maps are very important for that um so this website one couple of little settings on here i like to do is i turn off the ao and uh, specular and then you get the right file you can name it here download it and then you can have all your texture files with you can see i have uh this one right here copper and then copper normal map and I have this slab marble on uh, the slab normal map, which actually I didn't do one for that one. <laughs> I have this one here. There's a normal map for it. And um, it makes it very easy to make your own normal maps for your textures. Um, to get 3D model assets, um, Turbo Squid and Sketch Fabric are two I use the most. You can also get a lot of assets inside of Unity itself, inside the asset store. Um, you can go inside of Unity, click Asset Store, it takes a bit to load, but in here you can search for things, you can search for table, boom, got tables, you don't feel like paying for it, click on pricing, slide to zero, boom, bunch of free tables. Usually whenever I'm looking for something, I search Unity first, and then I search on other sites because usually if it's going to be in the Unity store, it's going to work properly, it's going to, not, it's going to be optimized, it's going to look good. Um, but if you're looking for something more unique, abnormal, these two websites are usually a lot better. Uh, Sketchfab Textures, uh, I mean, uh, Sketchfab, usually what I do is click downloadable. Can't really do any other categories to make it easier to find stuff, but Usually, I just look for stuff that doesn't have the price tag, unless I'm really looking for something unique. Then I may buy it, but there's a lot of stuff that's overpriced for really what it is. Like, spending, like, for some of these tables, some people want to charge like 10 bucks for a table like that. It's like, come on. There's tons of free ones. So, but in here, one thing you got to be sure about is the type of 3D model it is, is uh, the triangles and the vertices. This one is 76K. Now, it may look amazing, but if you have multiple assets that are this huge in your world, it's gonna run like crap, it's gonna go really slow, it's gonna bog down anybody that doesn't have like a crazy video card. Even with crazy video cards, if you get a whole bunch of these, it's gonna kill your frames and eat up video RAM. So, look for average stuff to be below 5K. You can push it to 10K for some things if you want to look a little nicer, but this one's huge and uh, it's just not going to be very usable. Um, it looks amazing, but way too big. So yeah, if we go to this one here. And there it goes. And now you see it's only 3.4K, but it still looks really good. Especially when you're in VR. That's a memory. You gotta remember, you're in VR. If it doesn't look good in Unity, it doesn't look good here, 
it probably look good in VR because it's not going to be as high as resolution as you're looking at like a 4K monitor or something like that. Uh, for Turbo Squid, when you search for stuff, you have a little more options. You can go in here and go to pricing, choose free format. I always search for OBJ and also FBX. I'm sure there might be another one that works in Unity, but these are the two I always go for, and it's much easier. Um, you just upgrade everything that's free, click on it. Details here only 353 polys. And look at the quality of that. That looks just fine. And this will work fine for most things you're trying to do, unless you're trying to do super high quality world. So, and nice thing about this, it's got the correct things. So when you click download, it's gonna have the correct things. Now you will have to sign in, make a free account. Same with Sketchfab. All these you gotta make a free account. Who cares? Use a burner email if you're worried about it. So, once you have your assets and textures, it's very important to uh, know how to import them correctly. Sometimes you gotta unpack them. You'll have multiple different layers and everything. Um, let's just look at some basic stuff. Let's look at this horse. Drag it into here. I just dragged it into the root. What I suggest is making folders in here. Create a new folder. Assets, boom. Put them in there. Same thing with textures. Over here, boom, folder, textures. Now you can put your assets and textures, keep them organized. After you drag in Unity, just drag it right on here. Now, sometimes when you import assets, they won't be anywhere near or close to the right size. You can see the scale right up here in the inspector. This is set to 100. Sometimes uh, when they import, they'll be set to like one. So be like, oh crap, this is too tiny, it won't work. That's okay, just uh, make it bigger. Boom, you got it. Doesn't look the best, but there's different versions out there. So you don't like this one, you can all find all sorts of different ones. Let's get rid of this horse. Boom, let's drag another asset in here. I think this line looks better. Boom, see it's tiny. 100, 100, 100. Boom, now you got a line. Let's rotate this thing around. 90, now it's looking into the light. Remember this world just has directional lighting and that's it, nothing special with it. So, now textures. Over here, textures. Uh, let's see, what do we wanna make this line? Let's make this line a marble line. So I'll grab my texture in the normal mat, drag it in, boom, there it is. Some very important things about optimizing your world. Click on your texture, and go to here, crunch compression. Never make it bigger than this unless you're trying to make it really huge. But click this little box, crunch compression. You can set this to wherever you want. Usually I leave it at 50. If I want a little bit better quality, I'll bump it up to 75 or 100. But hit apply, boom. Change the size to a lot smaller. It needs to be a lot bigger. Same with thing with the normal map. Make sure you go up here and change it to normal map. Click anywhere. It'll apply. Now it looks correct. It's normal map. See it's 1.3 megs down here in the inspector. Crunch compression. Apply. And boom. 440 KB. Much better. And it doesn't really change how it looks at all. Now, so how do you get your textures onto your asset? It depends on the asset. Some assets have made up multiple pieces. This one's simple. So this one, I'm just gonna click on it, highlight it. Boom, drag it to it. There you go. Looks a little funny. It looks way too big. So what do you go over here? Go over to inspector. Make sure it's set to always standard shader, unless you're trying to do something crazy. But standard shader is the one that works best for worlds. So don't like how it looks. Make the tiling better. Four by four. Now that looks a little bit more like it. You can also change the offset. You can change the metallic to make it more or less shiny. Usually smooth this, chain it up. Now it looks a little bit more marbly like, but it's still flat. It doesn't look like it's real. So that's where the normal map comes in. So you drag this over to the normal map section on the right here. It looks a little too grainy. 
So, set it to 0.5. Now that looks a little better. It looks a little bit more like marble. Still a little bit too much though. So, let's go in here and change it to 0.2. Now that looks more like it. You can do even lower too if it's still a little bit too rough for you. But, that's the best way to make assets look the best. It's so simple, not complicated. So there we go. That's assets, where to get. Texture files, where to get. How to import them in Unity. Very simple, just make sure they're optimized and everything. Um, another quick little note here, if you're dealing with something that has metal on it, stuff you get, get metallic files. A lot of the assets you'll find on those two websites will have metallic files where you put them. Is into the metallic here on the right. You can have height maps, occlusion. You'll see all those listed in texture files. And some of these here, I think uh, this wooden now has them. Yeah, see there's a uh, the AO. Uh, I think this one here, skull. Yep, has uh, more stuff on it. So you just gotta look at your assets, see what it has, see what it comes with, and uh, that's it. Have any questions? Leave them in the comments, and uh, I'll see if I can answer them. Until next time.